What's up, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, daughters, sons, and in-laws, outlaws, and otherwise, y'all? It's another episode of Low Tech Health. Let's talk tickers on Taco Tuesdays with Brad Burns. I hope everybody is doing swell like a three-plus pit in edema. I've had a wonderful night, and it's, uh, it's weird being a nurse because... You kind of say the same thing over and over, and a lot of times it doesn't get through. Sometimes it does. And man, to see that idea take root in someone's brain that, oh, I should maybe not have a fit of nervous talking while I'm having an asthma attack. I should take some deep breaths. It's a great idea. It's awesome to see that take root. And it always impresses me. Oh. Big, big heartfelt thank you to everyone who listens. Check out my uh, COVID cut. My girlfriend, Casdy did this with her bare hands and her teeth. It looks awesome. No, she used buzz cuts. She has beautiful teeth. They are sharp, though. Don't fuck around. I, uh, I know it's not. I think I may have mentioned this. I accidentally knocked my daughter's tooth out last week. And it's it's amazing how little people will cover for you. She immediately had a cover story. We were wrestling. This is the truth. We were wrestling. Cassidy was in between us. We were all like on the ground in the front yard of my parents' house. And I lean up. My leg goes up. Just, you know, to help on momentum, my body swinging forward. And as I'm doing that, Ren, my daughter, you know, reaches over with her face and it just eats my ankle. She she even left a mark. Is it still there? Yeah. There's still a little bit of a cut there. And out comes the slightly loose tooth. Could have taken a week longer to come out. But she had a story right away that, oh, my dad wrestling and he was leaning up and then I was leaning up and I, his ankle was coming towards me and I tried to bite him and then my tooth came out. She didn't try to bite me. She just didn't want me to get in trouble for kicking her in the tooth. It was so sweet. <laughs> Covering. Sticking something in the vault. Keeping it in the vault. We'll stick with the Seinfeld theme this week. <sighs> the vault is the place of secrets. These four friends would confide secrets that you can't talk about. They, New Yorkers, speaking of talking a lot, generally speak often, fast. No holds barred, don't hold a lot back, not like us Southern folk who drawl on and will be polite and, and you know, beat around the bush. So they had to be told be put to put a secret in the vault. That's the word they use, the vault, which means you can never come out and you can never speak of it unless I bring it up again. Oftentimes is when they're drunk, when they're inebriated, telling something they probably shouldn't have, which is relative toward coughing. Covering your cough, keeping it in the vault. Naturally, you're going to have some coughs that will happen. Secrets will come out. You'll be sick and inebriated. You'll have to get the cough out. But it's your vault. Those are your coughs, your sneezes. We should have always been covering them. It didn't need to take a pandemic for us to realize, hey, if you're sick and you have a cough, a sneeze, best case, don't go out. Second best case, if you have to go out, cover your little bug volcano. Common courtesy. It'd be wonderful if we could all stick with that plan of keeping our germs in the vault for the most part. Naturally, we're going to exchange. We're going to breathe each other's breath. It's going to happen. But if you're covering your cough, if you're sick with a fever, maybe don't start pontificating on the universal laws of nature 
don't start talking for too long is what I'm trying to say. To tag the end of this, let's talk tickers on Taco Tuesdays. See if I can relate it back to the heartbeat. Let's see, I got vitamin E in the top of my note cards from nursing school. It's a fat soluble antioxidant. The fat soluble vitamins are A, C, E, and D. This vitamin E protects A, C, and polyunsaturated fats and erythrocytes. So E makes a fat soluble covering. To be reminded, your entire body is made up of a phospholipid bilayer, which is fat cells. You're basically coated in fat to keep your body in its form. Very necessary to have cholesterol. Why cholesterol is not considered all a bad thing. High HDLs, great. That's our high density lipoproteins. They grab the higher the density, the more gravitational pull. So they'll pull and clean up the veins and the arteries of those LDLs, those low density lipoproteins. And more importantly, the very low density lipoproteins, the VLDL, which most of you didn't know about kept on the way way DL. With vitamin E, it can increase urine production, urine excretion, as opposed to urine absorption. God, I love reading back on these and seeing what I wrote because I didn't I didn't really know what mattered. <laughs> I was just writing words. I didn't know what mattered important to a patient, to a person. What can I do at point A here to get to point D, because B and C are important, but as a nursing student, I didn't know what those were. I just included the whole alphabet in between A and D. Not important, not necessary. Adverse reactions of vitamin E can cause a vitamin K deficiency, which vitamin K helps with clotting. If there's a deficiency, you more likely bleed, which is interesting to see that with this hypocoagulation, you have fatigue and weakness, which makes sense because your blood's too thin, you're not carrying much in it, not carrying much oxygen. Vitamin E naturally occurs in nuts, seeds, leafy greens, and many processes. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know how I made it through nursing school, but there's hope for all of you. You can all do it on this episode of Let's Talk Tickers on Taco Tuesdays. Remember it all, stick it in the vault, and cover your cough, please. Cover your cough like my kid covers for me when I accidentally knock her tooth out. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow on Wasabi Wana Wasabi My Tummy Wednesday.